<laughs> it's a Saturday and I am sitting in the house wondering if anyone is anyone going to join me today on the live chat I wonder <laughs> what a strange day what a weird moment of time so I'm not outside for those who are wondering I'm not outside at the moment I'm in the house because unfortunately the weather is so bad outside it's freezing cold and it's very windy so today I've decided to do my live stream in the house something a little different so can I just say first of all that I will look terrible on the camera the lighting isn't very good and I don't think I'm going to look very good on camera so can I, can I first of all apologize for my appearance <laughs> we went out this morning to town to buy some things however there were some queues outside the shops because they weren't allowing more than two people to go in unfortunately hello to everyone <laughs> hi to everyone who has just joined me welcome to my strange live stream I am with you today don't worry I know I'm a little bit late if you look in the distance you can see the view out of the window it is very cloudy today cloudy there is a little bit of sunshine however it is windy and very cold apparently tonight the weather or the temperature is going to be around minus six so tonight the temperature will be six degrees below freezing which is pretty cold to be honest so hello everyone I don't know why you think I'm at the police station I'm not at the police station <laughs> why do you think I'm in the police station do you think <laughs> I have done something wrong I don't know maybe not so here I am okay you are going to see me now oh dear there I am oh <laughs> I must say I look terrible already I feel like ending this live stream because I look awful on camera today I'm very sorry the lighting is awful the lighting is very bad and also everything is really strange I've been out this morning I went into town to buy some things they didn't have any toilet paper they had no toilet paper at all so I couldn't buy any toilet paper however I still have some toilet paper left you will see here I still have some toilet paper so don't worry about me I still have enough toilet paper to survive I have enough toilet paper to survive so I'm sitting here at the moment in my house by the window looking outside wishing that I could go outside but unfortunately it's so cold today outside it's really freezing so I decided to stay in the house and keep myself safe as I mentioned earlier I did go into town this morning to buy some things I also bought some Jaffa cakes as well so I have some Jaffa cakes to keep me company this afternoon during my isolation so I always have something nice to eat nearby something to keep me company <laughs> hello to the live chat this is something very unusual I suppose I should introduce myself in the way I normally introduce myself hi everybody this is Mr Duncan in England how are you today are you okay I hope so are you happy are you happy I really hope so I hope you feel okay today it's Saturday although to be honest with you at the moment every day feels like Saturday every day feels the same it doesn't feel any different so I can't really tell by going through the things I've done today I don't know if it's Saturday or not however my phone has told me that today is Saturday 
So I will trust my phone and I will say that it is definitely Saturday. Although it, it might be any day really, it could be any time. Hello to the live chat. I can't see the screen very well. I don't know why. It seems very small for some reason. <laughs> hello to hello to Nay Avalar. Hello to you. Hello also to Funny Vines. Hello, Funny Vines. I could do with cheering up today, to be honest, because everyone this morning in town looked so miserable. I'm not joking. Everyone in town looked really miserable. They were walking around the town centre and they, they all looked very unhappy. So to be honest with you, it really did make me feel a little depressed when I got back home because everyone was looking so miserable. I'm in the house today because it's freezing cold outside. I can't tell you how cold it is. There is an icy wind coming from, I think it's coming from the north, maybe Antarctica, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but it's freezing cold outside. So to protect my health, to keep myself alive for a bit longer, I've decided to do my live stream today from in the house. So I hope you will forgive me. I look a little strange today because the lighting is awful. I suppose I could have gone into the studio. I could have gone into the studio today, but unfortunately my studio is in a terrible mess. So I have to tidy my studio up before I can use it because all of the wires are everywhere and I've disconnected the lights and everything is in a real mess. So I thought today I would do my live stream from my chair. Is that okay? Do you mind? Hello to... Hello to bom, Bomnio Keo, Keo Not. I hope I pronounce your name right. Can you say my name loudly? I will try my best. Hello to Bomino. Bomino. <laughs> I hope I pronounced it right. Wow, a lot of people already on the live chat. Hello, Mr. Duncan. We miss your beautiful garden with its lovely birds. Well, unfortunately today, I can't go outside because the weather is awful. It is freezing cold. Hello to Martin. Oh, hi, Martin. Hello to you. Nice to see you here today. One of my friends, Martin, and I hope you are doing okay during this strange period of time. How are things? I am comforting myself today with some Jaffa cakes. So what are you eating? Are you having some special snacks during your isolation period? So I've decided to give myself a little bit of comfort by having some Jaffa cakes. I couldn't resist, to be honest. So hello to the live chat. I have a feeling that my neck is going to be very painful later <laughs> because of the way I'm sitting. Maybe I should move my camera slightly. Uh, maybe that's better. Oh yes, that's better. So if I move my camera, maybe things will be a little bit better. I think so. Okay, I need to just try something first. Just a moment. Please bear with me. Just one moment. I need to do something. Something I've forgotten to do. Okay, I hope you can hear me better now. Sorry about that. I forgot to plug my microphone in. I didn't plug my microphone in properly. So I hope you can hear me all right. <sighs> Sometimes technology is good, and sometimes technology is not so good. That's better. I feel a little bit more comfortable now. <laughs> okay, the sound should be better now. Can you hear me now? You should be able to hear me better, because I've just changed the microphone. So here I am at home looking terrible, because the lighting is awful. I know I will keep mentioning it because these things do concern me. I get so worried by these things. That's better, I can see you properly now. 
I must be honest, that was a very uncomfortable way of looking at the camera. So now you can see me sitting at home and I'm feeling all right, thank you very much. There is nothing wrong with me. I am perfectly all right. Are you superstitious because you are wearing your hat in the house? Don't worry about it. I'm OK. I'm wearing the hat just to keep my ears warm because I went out into town this morning and it's freezing outside. It's so cold. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to stay in the house and I'm going to keep my hat on to keep my head warm and my ears lovely and comfortable. And we will share a little bit of time together on this Saturday. It is Saturday the 28th. So please stop asking me why I'm wearing my hat. I'm wearing my hat to keep my ears warm. <laughs> because I went out this morning and we had to stand in the street for ages. We were standing outside one shop this morning for about half an hour in the freezing cold weather. <laughs> so it wasn't very nice. It wasn't very pleasant, to say the least. So that's what we were doing this morning. Mr. Steve and myself, we were queuing up outside one of the shops here in Much Wenlock. Hello, Francesco. Francesco, nice to see you here. Thank you very much for joining me. Something a little different today. I will be back with you tomorrow, don't forget. I will be back with you tomorrow from 2 p.m. UK time. I will be in the studio tomorrow with Mr. Steve. However, at the moment, I'm in the house. I'm relaxing with my, my Jaffa cakes. I love you Jaffa cakes so much. You will never leave me, will you? With your lovely soft sponge and your smashing orangey bit in the middle. I love my Jaffa cakes so much. Mm. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have kissed my box of Jaffa cakes. I wonder if you have to have safe distance distancing from your Jaffa cakes. Maybe, maybe not. So hello to everyone in the live chat. Don't you use online shopping so you don't have to go outside? Well, to be honest with you, I will be honest with you. At the moment, it's very hard to order your food on the Internet because everyone is doing the same thing. So it is very hard to do that. Hello to Luke. Hello, Luke. <laughs> Luke says, can you wish my friends Mark Corrigan and Jeremy Usborne good health? Oh, I see. We have another Peep Show fan. Hello, Peep Show fans. Nice to see you here today. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice dry. I see in the thumbnail and it's it looks so delicious. Oh, maybe. You would like one of my Jaffa cakes. Would you like one of my Jaffa cakes? You can if you want. I have three Jaffa cakes left. Would you like one? You can. Here we go. Would you like a Jaffa cake? There we go. I will hand the Jaffa cake to you now. There we go. Are you going to take it? Do you want a Jaffa cake? No, you don't. Why not? Because it's been in my hand and maybe I'm infected. That's not very nice, is it? OK, I will have to eat this myself then. I'll have it myself if you don't want it. If you don't trust my lovely clean hands, then I will eat it myself. Mm. Very nice. So it is Mr. D Mr. Duncan in England plus some Jaffa cakes. What a beautiful way to spend a Saturday. <laughs> it would appear that a lot of people like Jaffa cakes very much. All, all I can say is I wish I was being sponsored by them. Flower Espoir says, I have run out of chocolate. That is terrible. You can't run out of chocolate. That is awful. 
yes we went into town this morning we went to town to buy some groceries not much just some vegetables and also what else did we buy we bought some milk as well one of the good things about milk and this is the thing i love doing is sometimes we buy milk and we put it in the freezer now they say that you aren't supposed to freeze milk however i think freezing milk is fantastic so we normally put some milk in the freezer and then what we do is we take the milk out and then it defrosts and then we can drink the milk so if you want to store some milk for a long time you can put it in the freezer and it does work honestly yet noemi says mmm your jaffa cakes look delicious thank you very much for that they are delicious although i have a feeling that i've eaten too many i think so scientists say <laughs> that chocolate is very good for cheering yourself up well whenever i eat chocolate i always feel happy so it must be true i think so mm. jaffa cakes on a saturday afternoon what could be better mr duncan are you living on a mountain i do live very high up you can see the view behind me so there is the view from my window and yes i do live very high up i think the view from my window looks quite nice today yes we have quite a nice view hock co ban says it is good to see you are okay it is i have been following you for more than 10 years nice to see you here today i know there are many people who have been following me for a very long time for which i thank you very much thank you very much flower says i want to order my food online but it is all out of stock well the problem here is having your food delivered to your house everyone is doing the same thing so unfortunately there are no available vans there are no available deliveries unfortunately my wife comes from alton have you ever heard of alton is that the place near near stoke-on-trent there is a place near stoke-on-trent i'm sure called alton maybe i'm wrong hello to rakesh i want to buy some books of english but my debit card isn't working what should i do well i suppose you could watch me so you can listen to english being spoken by a native english speaker during this very strange period of time so i will try to be with you every day when i can however you may have noticed that things keep changing on a daily basis so from one day to another things keep changing and that is one of the problems at the moment every day there is a new dr drama there is something new happening unfortunately <clears throat> i am here to watch this beautiful place thank you tanya that's very nice of you to say so i've been using my voice so much this week i think i'm starting to lose my voice that's how much i've been doing this so i've been with you every day for the past 10 days so today is the 10th day that i've been with you <laughs> so i've been talking to you every day for 10 days sir you really cure the loneliness and i think of you thank you very much for that well at wherever you are at the moment wherever you are in the world as i always say whenever i do my live streams you are not alone don't forget wherever you are in the world wherever you are watching you don't have to worry because you are not alone i am in a similar situation i am here self-isolating 
So everyone at the moment is far away from each other. They are all isolating themselves. So don't forget you are not alone. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, we are all in a very similar situation. Some other things I always like to say during periods of time when things are bad. Always look on the bright side. Always look on the bright side of life. Whenever you can, when things seem bad, well, sometimes they are not as bad as they seem. Sometimes you have to look on the bright side. You have to find a positive thing to concentrate on or maybe something that you can think of that makes you feel happy. So always look on the bright side of life. There is a song. You can always make the best of a bad deal. If you make the best of a bad deal, it means you make the best of a bad situation. So you make the best of a bad situation. So you, you try to do something maybe to forget what is happening or maybe you do something to distract yourself or to change your way of thinking. Perhaps you phone up a friend or maybe you contact them on the Internet. Perhaps you can talk to someone through Skype or FaceTime. So Mr. Steve at the moment, can I just tell you, Steve is now talking to his mother on FaceTime. So that is what Steve is doing to keep in touch with his mother. He is using FaceTime on his iPhone. Look on the bright side. Make the best of a bad deal. Shall I have another one? Here's another one. Every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining. So always look on the bright side because things will always get better. So every cloud has a silver lining. Things can always get better. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Don't forget, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. Always. However bad things seem, if things seem bad, terrible, not good, always remember there is light at the end of the tunnel. Even if things seem bad, always remember that there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is always a glimmer of hope in the future. So whatever is happening, remember there is always light at the end of the tunnel. And of course, you are not alone because I am doing the same thing as you. <laughs> I am in exactly the same situation as you are. So all of the neighbours around here, all of the people that live in this area, they are all stay staying at home. However, sometimes they have to go out to the shops to buy things. But there aren't many people actually in town. And I will show you tomorrow. So on the live stream tomorrow, I will show you what is happening in my town. So that is something I will show you tomorrow. Hello, Noemi. I think we are going to stay in isolation for a long time. Hmm. Is Luis Mendez here? I didn't see Luis. Luis Mendez, where are you? I cannot see you on the live chat. Hello to Tanya. Also, hello to Kansu. Kansu Ome, who is watching in Turkey. Hello, Turkey. I wish I was there at the moment, enjoying some lovely warm sunshine <laughs> and some of that beautiful warm air. I have been to Turkey twice. I've been to Turkey twice in the past. Yes, I am trying to make the best of a bad deal. Learning English. I'm also reading and doing exercises. Thank you, Anna, 
for telling me what you were doing during your isolation period. Hello also from, hello, Peterborough, T Tatiana. Hello, Tatiana, watching in Peterborough. Nice to see you here as well today. A lot of people are now doing live streams, by the way. Many people are live streaming during this period of time. However, one of the problems I found recently is certainly with my home connection. So my broadband at home has become quite slow because many people are now using their computers. And I would imagine that lots of people are also streaming on their televisions. Hello to Ji Hong Yang, who is watching in China. Hello, China. A big ni hao to you. I hope you are doing well and I hope things are getting better where you are. Hussein is here. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I live in Iran. And to be honest, life is very scary here. Yes, everyone at the moment is feeling nervous, afraid, worried, concerned. People are on edge. They are feeling nervous, anxious, upset, concerned. So there are very many words. There are a lot of words you can use to express feeling worried about something. And this is what I noticed this morning. When I was walking around town this morning, I noticed a lot of people were looking at each other. So when we were waiting outside the shop, we had to keep a very far distance away from each other. So we couldn't get close to each other, unfortunately. Hello to Tran Yuan. Hello, Mr. Duncan. You are my idol. Your lessons are very helpful. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. And a big hello to Tran and also everyone watching in G Vietnam. Thank you very much. I must admit it feels very strange sitting here in my chair. <laughs> this is normally the place where I relax. But today <laughs> you are joining me on my chair. And I'm eating my Jaffa cake. Do you know, hello to Craig, Craig Turner asks, do you know Idris Elba? Not personally, <laughs> I don't know him personally, but he is also, I believe he is also self-isolating at the moment. I think so. I do know him, very famous actor. Very famous actor. Hello, Duong. Duong Oho says, are you OK? I am OK. I will feel good as long as I have my Jaffa cakes. After my Jaffa cakes have gone, I might not be so happy. Mm. He lives in the UK. Idris Elba, he is, yes, he's British. He's a British actor. Thank you for your question, Id Craig. <laughs> Hello, Nushar, watching in Kurdistan. Hello, Kurdistan. Nice to see you here as well. Luis Mendez is here watching in France. So things have gone from bad to worse here in the UK. So now we have Boris Johnson... We also have some other members of the British Parliament who are now unwell. A guy called Matt Hancock. Matt Hancock. I love that name, by the way. I don't know why. Matt Hancock. Matt Hancock. And he is the health secretary. So he is actually the health secretary with the British government, and now he has come down with, can you believe it? I have a feeling 
that things are going to get worse before they get better. Hello, Connell. Mr. Duncan, how are you? I'm okay. I'm not too bad. Can't complain. However, I was in the town centre this morning, standing outside the shop. And of course, many shops at the moment are not allowing more than two people into the shop. So that's the reason why we have to queue outside. So we have to queue outside the shop because they only allow two people in at the same time. Do you have Instagram? <laughs> Do I have Instagram? <laughs> Do I look like a person who might be on Instagram with my with my beautiful smile pouting with my lips? Look at me. I'm I'm a sexy girl on Instagram. Ooh. Hi everybody from Italy. Hello Italy and can I say Hi to everyone watching in Italy, because I know that you are watching as well. Have you ever seen the Queen? asks Nusha. I have seen the Queen of England for real many years ago. She was visiting a hospital and I did actually see her. Thank you also to Hien, Hien Yuin says, Mr. Duncan, you are so confident. <laughs> Sometimes I am very confident. Sometimes I am very shy. I am. <laughs> there are some interesting comments on the live chat today. I have a feeling that some of you have been in the house for too long. You are a handsome boy. Maybe you are 20. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's a lovely compliment, by the way. I really needed that lift today. I really did. Mr. Duncan, I hope one day I can meet you. Thank you, Tanya. That's very kind of you to say. You could come round now if you want. You, you are more than welcome to come round to my house now, as long as you have some Jaffa cakes. So you must have Jaffa cakes. If you don't have any Jaffa Cakes, I'm sorry, you are not welcome at my house. If you do have Jaffa Cakes, please come round, say hello. But you must have Jaffa Cakes <laughs> or else you can't come in. Thank you very much to Craig. Craig Turner asks, are you a Catholic? No, I, I'm not a Catholic. I don't have any religious views or any religious beliefs at all. I don't go to church. The only time I go to church is for funerals and weddings. Otherwise, I don't go to church. Hello also to Ji Hong Yang. What is your daily life like during this time? Do you go out often? No. No, we can't go out here. So people are not allowed to go out of their houses unless they have a good reason to do it. So you must have a good reason to go outside. Maybe you have to buy some food or maybe you have to visit the pharmacy or maybe you have to go to the doctor or maybe you have to go and see someone who has some difficulty in their life, maybe an elderly person. So most people are now being told that they have to stay in their house. So that's what I'm doing. So you can see I'm sitting here at the moment in my comfortable chair. So this is the place where I normally relax every night. After finishing my live streams, I always come in here, I sit down, and I have a lovely rest. And this is what I do when I unwind after I've done one of my live streams. I like to rest my head and have some lovely dreams. Ah, oh yeah, yeah baby, that's gorgeous, mmm, yeah. 
Ooh, yes, a delicious, sweet Jaffa cake. Yes, let me bite you. Mmm, let me put you into my mouth and chew you up. Oh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I got a bit distracted there. Sorry about that. I do apologise. I got a little bit too relaxed then. Sorry about that. Yes, I was dreaming about Jaffa Cakes then. I fell asleep and I was dreaming all about Jaffa Cakes. I was dreaming that I was inside the Jaffa Cake factory where they make Jaffa Cakes. And I was in the room where they make the little orange bits because that's my favourite part of a Jaffa Cake. I don't know about you, but normally when I eat a Jaffa Cake, I will show you how I eat my Jaffa Cakes. So normally what I like to do, I, I like to break the sponge off. So I take the sponge away and I like to save the orange bit. So this is the sponge and here is the orange part. Look at that. <gasps> so I always think that this is the best part of a Jaffa Cake. The orange piece in the middle can you see it so there is the orange that you find in the middle of a Jaffa cake mm. it's so orangey it is so tangy hmm mm. it's like it's like a little orange disco is taking place inside my mouth mmm mmm oh oh that was lovely that was so nice oh beautiful 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 Jaffa cakes <laughs> I would imagine the sale of Jaffa cakes is going to go up quite a lot over the next few days I think so so don't forget, you can't come to my house unless you have Jaffa Cakes in your hand. Hello to Uni Karina. My English teacher from Leeds bought these cakes for us one year. And they were so delicious. I know. They are gorgeous. I think I might be addicted to Jaffa Cakes. I'm not sure. So, so I might be ad addicted to these. So during this crisis, I might have to go to rehab to recover from my addiction to Jaffa Cakes. Can you believe it? Mr. Duncan, the cookie factory is making a new film talking about isolation. Really? Can I be a part of that documentary? I would love to be in that doc documentary. Patchu asks, what is the subject of today's lesson? The subject today is how many Jaffa cakes can you put into your mouth at the same time without choking? Netra says they are so sweet. I like chocolate cakes, but only small portions. Mm, I think so. Are you feeling terrible? I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm not sick. For those who are wondering, I'm not unwell. I'm not ill. I'm not sick. I am just at home on Saturday, relaxing, taking it easy. <laughs> After a very busy morning, I don't think I've ever stood outside a shop for food in my life. Even living in China, I never had to stand outside a shop. So here, this morning, I had to wait in the street before we could go inside one of the shops. I can't believe it. Have you ever seen an orange candle covered with chocolate? <laughs> can you eat it? That's my question. Can you eat it? If you can eat it, then I'm very interested. If not, then I will give it a pass. Hello also 
to Salem. Hello, Salem. Nice to see you here as well. Lots of people here. Mr. Duncan, I believe that you have a sweet tooth. Even with Jaffa cakes, you are picking out the best part. It is the best part. The little orange piece in the middle is the best part of a Jaffa cake. I think so. What they should do, they should actually sell the orange pieces on their own, separately. What, what do you think? Tomek says, stop being so self-absorbed. Scroll the chat up and then read my comment. Who cares about Jaffa cakes? I would imagine that lots of people at the moment care a lot about Jaffa cakes because they're probably wondering where they can get them from. There might be a shortage of Jaffa cakes, just like there is a shortage of toilet paper. <laughs> but you can't wipe your bottom on a Jaffa cake. That's true. I agree with you there. Thank you, Hang. Hello, Mr. Duncan. Have a nice day. I'm having a nice day today. It's not too bad. Even though I was standing in the street, freezing cold. What about you? How is your weekend? Is your weekend OK? Has it gone well or has it gone bad? So what are you doing at the moment? How are you spending your Saturday in isolation? What are you doing to pass the time away? Yes, you have to choose just one thing. If you had to choose between a Jaffa cake and toilet paper, what would you choose? Hmm. Let's see. Jaffa cakes or toilet paper? Jaffa cakes or toilet paper? Hmm. It's a very hard decision. I'll be honest with you. It is a very hard decision. First of all, Jaffa cakes taste delicious. Unfortunately, they are useless in the bathroom. However, toilet paper is very useful in the bathroom. However, it doesn't taste very nice. So it's, it's a very difficult decision between Jaffa cakes and toilet paper. I know. I think really, to be honest with you, I would choose the Jaffa cakes. I'm pretty sure of that. Where is Mr. Steve? Mr. Steve is lying down. He is asleep. He's decided to have a little rest. Mr. Duncan, I'm just kidding. I am seeking your attention. I know you are. What did you choose, Mr. Duncan? I would choose the Jaffa cake every time. There is no competition. There is no difficulty working out which one I would have. I would definitely have the Jaffa cake. Mr. Duncan, have you ever been to Vietnam? No, I've never been there. Never been to Vietnam. It is a country that I would like to visit one day, hopefully in the future. In the future, maybe I will visit Vietnam. <laughs> Maybe you can use the Jaffa cake box as toilet paper. I don't know. <sighs> Hello, Ong. Hello, Ong Trum. You can use the grass instead of toilet paper. Well, I have plenty of grass in my garden. You can see behind me. I have a lot of grass behind me. Have you been to India? No, I've never been to India. I was watching the news just before I started my live stream and I did see in India, they are taking it very seriously. The crowd control in India, the police are being very strict with anyone who is disobeying the safe social spacing. They are literally beating them with sticks to keep people apart. <laughs> I think they should have that here, to be honest. Maybe in London. Uh, I think so. Hello, JC Geordie. R right now, I'm at home in my office going through my chores. I am doing my chores instead of shores. 
Hmm. I would love to be out at the moment. Maybe walking along a beach by the seaside. That would be so nice. Hello, Dan. Where do you come from? I live in England. I'm talking to you now live from England. My little house in Much Wenlock. <laughs> Geordie says my father in Spain used to use stones as toilet paper. I'm not sure about that. I don't think I would like to do that, to be honest. Serena Snow says I am washing my clothes and cleaning and also playing video games and watching YouTube and you. Oh, thank you very much for joining me. That's very kind of you. It's amazing. So many people are finding all sorts of things to do during this very strange, very weird time. So have you ever been to Italy? No, I've never been to Italy. I'm hoping to go there in the future. I would love to visit some beautiful Italian beauty spot, maybe an area where people gather and, and enjoy the music and maybe some delicious Italian food as well. So I've never tried Italian food that has been cooked in Italy. Maybe one day I will have a chance. I hope so. Hello to Vietnam again. I don't understand life changing when I was watching a video. What does it mean? When we say that something is life changing, it means it changes the way you live your life or the way you exist. So when we describe something as life changing, we might say that perhaps an accident. So maybe you have an accident which causes some sort of physical problem. We can say that that is life changing, life changing. So that's the way we use that. We often describe something as life changing if it makes a difference to the way you live or the way you do your normal activities. It is life changing. So life changing can be positive and it can also be negative as well. Why does it say that you are at Much Wenlock Police Station? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it says that I'm at Much Wenlock Police Station. I am not. Can I just reassure everyone that I'm definitely not at Much Wenlock Police Station? I have a feeling that might be a mistake with the location. Because normally, before I start my live stream, normally they will put my location onto the video details. So I have a feeling that maybe the location is wrong. <laughs> so I can assure I can assure you that I am not at Much Wenlock Police Station, even though it says it. <laughs> can we? Sh can you show us your home, Mr. Duncan? <laughs> well, I will show you my house if you show me yours. That's the the deal that we have there. I would be very happy if you could visit India at least once. Very nice. Yes, I would love to travel around the world. There are many countries that I would love to visit in my life. There are many countries that I would love to go to. Have you ever been to Taiwan, Mr. Duncan? Efrid. Hello, Efrid. I actually have a friend who comes from Taiwan. So, yes, I did. I used to have a friend who lived in the UK and he actually came from Taiwan. He might be watching now, for all I know. Hello. Hello, Ben. Hello, Ben, watching in Taiwan. Just in case. You never know. You never know. Mr. Duncan, 
Is there a hospital in the place where you live? Well, there isn't a hospital here. So in Much Wenlock, we don't have a hospital. We do have a doctor. So there is a doctor in the village where I live. However, if I want to go to hospital, I have to travel to another place. Uh, there are two hospitals near where I live. So I have to drive to Telford or I can go to Shrewsbury as well. So there are hospitals, but they're not nearby. So I have to drive there if I want to go to hospital. Hello to Tomek, who says, speaking of life changing, I was at an online party last night and there was a bunch of friends sitting at their homes connected via messenger. What a strange time we live in. Yes, well, people now are socialising using the Internet. And that's one of the great reasons why I love technology. So during this strange period of time, I can st I can still be with you during this weird time. So even though at the moment I'm living in isolation and I'm keeping myself to myself, I can still share my time with you. I can still share my time with you. What does negative mean? Well, negative is the opposite of positive. So often we see negative as being a bad thing. So something that is negative, maybe a person, maybe their behaviour or their character is negative. So sometimes we can say a person is negative, a person is always unhappy, negative. The only time that the word negative can be used in a positive way is if you are having some sort of test, a medical test. So in that situation, if you are negative, then that is a good thing. And if you are positive, that is a bad thing. So if you are having some sort of medical test, the, the meanings of the words are reversed. So positive is bad. Negative is good. Confused? I think so. There is a brand of beer. Yes, there is a brand of beer. You are right with that name you are right i'm not going to say the name because you know what the name is mr duncan how should we say 2020 do you mean the year so this year people can say 2020 or they can just say 2020 so maybe you can say 2020 or maybe you can say 2020 2020 there is a bird behind you at the moment. I think that must be a pigeon. There are pigeons all over the place at the moment because the pigeons are mating at the moment. So you might see some birds flying by behind my head. <laughs> Mr. Duncan, you look like a rich man. Really? <laughs> I'm sitting here in my house wearing a woolly hat. And you think I look rich? <laughs> Thank you very much for that. I appreciate your compliment. All I can say is I'm not rich. Thank you, though. Thank you for thinking that. Yes, there is a pigeon behind you. I'm not surprised. The pigeons at the moment are getting very excited because it's mating season for the pigeons. So at the moment, they are getting very excited. Do you ever get bored living in a quiet place? I will be honest with you. It is very quiet where I live. You don't often hear much noise, but I love peace and quiet, I must admit. So as I sit here, it is so quiet. 
I can't hear anything. There is no sound. Nothing. <laughs> is it too early for a cup of tea? Well, here in the UK, it isn't early. At the moment, it is 15 minutes past three o'clock. It's a quarter past three here in the UK in the afternoon. So this morning, I had a cup of tea. And then about an hour ago, I had a cup of coffee. Mr. Steve was very kind. He made a lovely cup of coffee. If you are not rich now, then maybe you used to be rich. No, <laughs> I've never been rich ever in my life. I can tell you now, I have never been a rich person. <laughs> I can promise you I am not rich. <laughs> if I was rich, that I wouldn't be sitting here on YouTube talking to you now. I would be probably on my desert island. Maybe I would be on a desert island with Richard Branson and we would be sipping our champagne together whilst driving around in our personalised speedboats. Maybe. I really want to listen to the sounds of the birds in your garden. Unfortunately, we are not outside today because the weather isn't very good. The clouds are dark and everything is looking a little gloomy today. So there you can see. Look at that. You can see that everything is looking rather grim today outside. So there is the view at the moment out of my window. And you can see things are looking a little cloudy, a little gloomy and that's because it is <laughs> it is gloomy and cloudy at the moment outside so that is what's happening at the moment Ooh. oh hello there <laughs> i must admit this feels very strange sitting in my house talking to you like this it does feel rather strange doing this it probably feels strange watching me as well, I would imagine. Mr. Duncan, you seem very tired. You must have a rest. I'm not sure if I feel tired because last night I had a wonderful sleep. I did. I had a beautiful sleep last night. Geordie says, are you aware you are becoming famous? There are a lot of people who love you. I never think of myself as famous. I have never thought of myself as anyone famous on YouTube. All I do is I turn on my camera and then I do what I do and then I turn my camera off and then I do something else. Maybe have a cup of tea or go outside to watch the birds. So I've never thought of myself as being famous or popular or anything really on YouTube, to be honest. Mr. Duncan, you look like the king of much Wenlock. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. I, I do appreciate your, your kind words today. It is very nice. You are very lucky because you are living in the best country in the world. Well, I'm not sure about that, but there are many other countries that I would love to go and visit. So I would love to go and visit places around the world. So even though I live here in England, it doesn't mean I don't want to live anywhere else. Mr. Duncan, do you smoke? No, I don't. I've never smoked cigarettes. Isn't that strange? And the weird thing is both of my parents used to smoke quite a lot. However, I, I'm, not, I'm not interested in smoking. I used to hate it when my mother smoked. So both my mother and father both smoked and I hated it. I really did. So that has actually discouraged me. Discouraged me from smoking. Mr. Duncan, why do native speakers sometimes say D, D before the consonant? I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. I don't know what you mean by that. 
Maybe it is a certain type of... Maybe it is a certain type of speech or accent. Hello, Geordie. <laughs> you are very shy, but you should feel proud because... Thanks to you, a lot of people learn English. Well, again, if you do something regularly, it does become part of your job or part of your routine. So this, over the past 14 years, <laughs> I still can't believe I've been doing this for 14 years. <laughs> but yes, for the past 14 years, I've been doing this. And of course, you become used to it. So I enjoy doing this. I love giving you the, the opportunity to learn English. So it is something that I just do. And I hope for someone out there, it is helpful. That is it. Hello, Mr. Duncan. What is the name of the place you live? I live in a place called Much Wenlock. It is a small town in England. A very small place. And... At the moment, it is a very quiet place because no one is around. Unless, of course, they are doing their shopping, in which case it is very busy. So where the shops are, there are lots of people moving around. But they are all keeping a safe distance away from each other. Mr Duncan, do you know... Zhao Fei, he was a great YouTuber in, in Taiwan. No, I don't know Zhao Fei. I don't know him. This is the second time for me to join this channel. It is a good job. Thank you, Ahmed. It's very kind of you to say so. I'm doing this today as a way of passing the time and as a way of hopefully keeping you company as well because I'm doing the same thing as you. I'm at home and you're at home. So I thought maybe we could be alone together. Does that sound like a good idea? Maybe, maybe not. Yes, many people have been watching you for more than 10 years and we love you. Thank you, Nushar. That's very kind of you to say so. Yes, I teach English for a living. I've done it for many years and now I do it on YouTube. In fact, you might say that this has become my full-time job, even though for most of the time I don't charge anything. So everything I do is free and I've been doing that for over 14 years because that's what I want to do. I want to give everyone a chance to learn English, even for those who can't afford to have personal classes or personal tutorials. I do this because I want to give everyone a chance to listen to English, to express themselves in English, and hopefully to learn some words as well. Maybe some new words. I don't speak another language, even though many years ago I used to speak very good French. <laughs> I don't know why. But when I was at school, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know why, but I did speak French quite well. And when I lived in China, I had to learn survival Chinese. But can I say, Chinese is a very hard language to learn. I will be honest with you. Hello, Thu Hong. I have watched your videos that were made 10 years ago, but now they are still useful. Thank you very much for that. Yes, there are over, I think there are maybe 700 videos on my YouTube channel that I've, yet, I've made over the past 14 years. So yes, I started my YouTube channel in 2006 many, many years ago. Mr. Duncan, did you have a shave this morning? No. No, I didn't. I'm a naughty boy. I didn't have a shave, 
So uh, please, please excuse me if my face looks a little bit untidy. I'm sorry about that. Hello to Corrie. Hello, Corrie. I would like to hear your accent. Do you mean my accent? Oh, I see. <laughs> when I was at school, I don't know why, but I always did very well at French. I don't know why, because I, I wasn't really interested in learning French when I was at school. But for some reason, I was good at it. I don't know why. However, now, all those many years later, those years later, I have forgotten how to use it. And that is what happens if you don't use the language. If you never speak the language, what happens is you slowly forget it. You forget all of the words. They disappear. So as I always say, you must use it or else you will lose it. Use it or lose it. Hello to Anna. Hello also to Kasim. How are the neighbours where you live? Well, can I just say, a lot of people at the moment are taking very good care of each other. And I must admit, it is lovely to see how well people are treating each other. There are some elderly people who live near where I live. And there are people who are going around. Some of my neighbours are taking care of other people who live around here. So what I always say about this type of situation is you find that people are very willing to help each other. So in the community where I live, there are many people who are helping other people to survive during this difficult time. So some people are going out to the shops and they are buying food for elderly people or people who can't get out on their own. So it's great. It's great, I must admit. These sorts of situations always bring out the best in other people. It always brings out the best in humanity. I think so. Was your town part of the Roman Empire in the past? This particular place goes back many years. There are actually some, some Roman ruins not very far away from where I live. So yes, in the, in the past, definitely, there were Roman settlements and the Romans did exist in this area, although they have gone now. We don't have any Romans around here anymore. Hello, Netra. With the whole world coming to a temporary halt and there is also zero pollution, there are reports about the ozone layer being repaired. Yes, this is something that I mentioned yesterday. I think I mentioned it yesterday on my live stream. It is interesting to note that perhaps all of this will have a positive effect on the environment. Who knows? So if we have a few weeks of this, maybe it will have a positive effect on all of those environmental problems. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> That's better. I'm getting uncomfortable. <sighs> Maybe you are an ordinary person. Thank you, Rahid. But you are the king of English. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Have you forgotten about your Jaffa cake? Well, I have, I have my little pieces of Jaffa cake. Can you see? So can you see what I've done there? I've actually taken the middle out of my Jaffa cake. So that is what is happening with my Jaffa cake. For those who are wondering, that is my Jaffa cake. Unfortunately, I've been very greedy today because I've eaten, almost eaten this whole packet of Jaffa cakes. I am ashamed to tell you I have eaten this whole box. 
box of Jaffa cakes this morning. I feel so ashamed, so ashamed of myself. How do I speak English fluently? You have to listen to it. You have to read it. You have to concentrate on your listening. So learning anything takes time and English is no exception. Lots of people now on the live chat. Hello, Manisha. Mr. Duncan, I am new here and I like your lectures. I want to be with you in your live streaming, but unfortunately, my evening time is very busy. It is now evening here in Pakistan. Thank you very much, Mansha, for your message as well. Thank you very much. I always feel very excited when I read your messages. I also have emails as well that I get from time to time. So thank you very much for all of your lovely messages. I do appreciate all of the comments. And don't forget, I read them all. Some people think that I don't read your comments. However, I always do. I always read your comments. Every time. <laughs> Kasim says, are your Jaffa cakes fattening? I suppose so. I feel so ashamed. I feel so embarrassed. I had a moment of weakness and I couldn't stop putting the Jaffa cakes into my mouth. However, later on I will go for a walk. So later I will go for a walk up the hill and I will go round and round and round and then I will come back home. So, so my Jaffa cakes will disappear from my body, hopefully. <laughs> Ting asks, do you have anything to eat besides Jaffa cakes? I do have other things as well. I have bread. I have vegetables. I have some fruit as well. I have some lovely oranges, real oranges, not Jaffa cakes, real oranges. Also, yes, there is lots of stuff in the cupboard. I have lots of baked beans as well. One of the things that is very good during this type of situation is baked beans. I have lots of tins of baked beans. So I always like to have something like baked beans on toast if I have to make a meal in a hurry. So sometimes you have to cook some food very quickly because you have, you have very little time, you see? So sometimes I, I make baked beans, I make sandwiches, we have fish as well. So I like to have some fish because it's very, very good for you. I don't eat much meat. You might be surprised to hear that, but I don't eat much meat. Although I do like eating fish. So some people might say that fish is meat. <sighs> Rohith asks, which fruit do you like the most? I like oranges. I also like mangoes. I like mangoes very much. Even though at this time of year, you can't get nice mangoes. So unfortunately, here in the UK, mangoes are seasonal. So sometimes they are very hard to get. And then other times they are very easy to get. Are you washing your hands, Mr. Duncan? Yes, I am. And I can prove it. Yes. See, I have my hand sanitizer. So this is the thing that I'm carrying around with me all the time. So this morning when I went into town, I was putting this all over my hands before I went into the shop. And then after I left the shop, I put some more on my hands. So I, I am using my special hand sanitizer. Can you see it? So this is something I'm using to keep my hands clean during these very strange times. 
Does Mr. Steve know that you ate all the Jaffa cakes? No. No, Mr. Steve doesn't know that I've eaten all the Jaffa cakes. Please don't tell him. Please. Tomorrow. So when I do my live stream tomorrow, please don't tell Mr. Steve that I ate all the Jaffa cakes or else I will get into a lot of trouble. So please, it's just between you and me, all right? <laughs> so Mr. Steve does not need to know about my Jaffa cakes. Please don't tell him, okay? Promise? So do you promise you will not tell him tomorrow? Please don't tell Mr. Steve. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Mr. Duncan, do you know about Ukrainian culture? I've never been to Ukraine. I've never, never been there. I will be honest with you. I've never been to Ukraine. <laughs> Nestor is trying to get me into trouble. Can I meet Mr. Steve? Well, he's busy at the moment. He is busy. I think he might be on the bed asleep. So I have a feeling Steve at the moment is on the bed. He is in deep meditation. Did you know that? Did you know that Mr. Steve is a big fan of meditation? He likes meditating. He likes to sit in silence and sometimes he will sit there for many many hours breathing in and breathing out he will thank you for not telling steve about <laughs> my little habit thank you very much luis mendez says my lips are sealed Good. Can you please say hello to my son, Nikolai? Hello, Nikolai. Hello to you. How are you today? This is Mr. Duncan in England sending you a lot of good wishes on this Saturday. So hello, Nikolai, and thanks for watching. Isn't that nice? Thank you very much. Why do you wear a hat? in the house well my ears this morning were really cold and quite painful I think it's because I've been outside a lot over the past few days so because I've been going outside doing lots of things walking around my ears have become very sensitive so that's the reason why I'm wearing my hat to keep my ears comfortable because this morning it was freezing I went outside this morning. It was absolutely freezing cold this morning. It was. Tatiana says you should do some lessons for children even more now than because all the kids are indoors. I think you will be very good at that. I used to teach when I was in China. I used to teach kindergarten children. <laughs> And I found it very easy to do. I don't know why, but I always found it very easy to teach very young children because their brains are amazing. They are able to learn things so quickly. So I always found it much easier to teach young children than it was to teach adults. I always found that adults were very hard to teach <laughs> because quite often they wouldn't listen. But children, young children, their brains are like sponges. So everything you say goes into their ears and it's very easy to teach young children. So I must admit, I did find it very easy teaching <laughs> the, the young children. I, I enjoyed it more than teaching the older children and also adults. I found them very hard to teach because quite often they would not listen to me. They would always be thinking of something else or they would be looking at their mobile phones. <laughs> I'm not sure how to keep 
a child motivated to learn English I think the new generation is a bit lazy I think one of the problems with children nowadays is they they find it very hard to hold their attention for more than a few moments so that's the reason why teaching has become so difficult nowadays that's what I think anyway so I think over the past few years I think teaching young people has been become, become harder because there are more distractions there are many more distractions Mr Steve sometimes talks too fast <laughs> yes I, I know <laughs> sometimes Steve gets very excited when he's talking about something you are right thank you Mr Duncan you I am very grateful to you your teaching video lessons have improved my listening thank you very much to I, I'm not sure what your name is because I think that is that looks like Cyrillic what song do you recommend listening to music is something I love very much however I don't listen to modern music for those who are going to ask me I don't listen to modern music I have no idea who the current popular singers are I have no idea I don't know but I do love music from the 1980s you see so I do listen to a lot of 1980s music because as far as I'm concerned that is the best music ever I think so <sighs> oh Unicarina says I like pulp pulp wow see there you go there is a group from the 1980s you are right Lil hello Lil I love the Beatles she loves you yes 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 she loves you yes 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 hello Nestor do you like Queen yes I do I like Queen very much I used to listen to their music a lot when I was growing up during the 1970s and the 1980s yes I, I like Queen very much I don't think they are as good now because I've seen them perform live and of course since the sad death of Freddie Mercury they had no lead singer but now of course they are touring but they have a different guy singing the songs but between you and me I don't think I don't think it's as good you can't beat Freddie Mercury and Queen you really can't beat it classic and who remembers the performance that they gave at Live Aid who remembers that absolutely amazing so yes I do like Queen very much some of the best music ever no Freddie no Queen yes that's what I think so it, it isn't the same it doesn't feel the same when you're watching Queen with their their recent concerts that they've been doing for the past seven or eight years they're not the same it's not the same without Freddie I'm sorry do you like the song by John Lennon called imagine well yes it's a classic isn't it really when you think about it so during periods of time where people are thinking about maybe war in the world or maybe when things are going badly such as now you might say that that song comes around and a lot of people like to listen to it in fact I think last week there was a video that was going around the internet with lots of people singing imagine by John Lennon hello to Lewis oh thank you Lewis for your question about John Lennon thank you very much yes a very good song a classic song do you like Michael Jackson I like some of his music certainly the music that he produced in the late 1970s so some of the stuff he did with his brothers the Jacksons I liked a lot 
and some of the music he did with Quincy Jones during the late 1970s and early 1980s. Fantastic, yes. Yes, I do like Michael Jackson's music, even though... I'm sure you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> even though... I think you know what I'm thinking. Hello to Khan. What was the last movie you watched? Ah, very interesting question. I watched a very good movie last week called 12 Monkeys. And I did mention this a couple of days ago, but I did mention that I did see a brilliant movie called 12 Monkeys starring Bruce Willis. And I thought it was a really good movie. So this, this was a movie all about time travel. And I do like films that involve a little bit of time travel. I don't know why. Two types of science fiction that I love. Time travel and robots. I don't know why. So if there is science fiction that involves time travel or robots, I'm there. What do you mean, are you a robot? How rude. Can you please say my name, Mr. Duncan? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure if I can even pronounce that. I think it might be Fio. Hello to Fio. Fio C True. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. I apologize. Are you watching Outlander? Outlander? No, I'm not watching that. No. Where is that? Is that streaming on Netflix? Anthony asks, do you like Terminator films? Yes, I do like Terminator. However, I don't like the recent ones. I try to forget about the recent ones. But I think the first Terminator film and the second Terminator film are the best. But all of the ones that followed were, were, weren't that good, to be honest. I didn't like the last one. I hated the last one. It was, it was awful. It was terrible. Stop it. Please, Arnie. Don't you have enough money already? Please. Oh, Maria. Maria. Thank you, Maria, for reminding me of Interstellar. A brilliant movie. But a very deep movie. You really have to concentrate when you're watching that. Because Interstellar deals with interdimensional travel. So when you're talking about travelling a long, long way, maybe you can still be in another place at the same time. So Interstellar is one of those amazing movies that studies some very complex subjects and events so yes i like interstellar <laughs> even though uh <laughs> one of the actors in interstellar is someone i don't really like watching very much <sighs> yes brian brian mcconaughey i don't find him a sort of person i would like to watch very often what about Inception? Did you see Inception? Yes, another good movie. I like that one. Now, what I like about Inception is that the concept is very interesting. The fact that you can go into someone else's dream and then when you're in their dream, the things they are dreaming about, you can interact with those things. So yes, Inception is a very good movie. Once again, not really about time travel, but it is still interesting. So all of the films that involve time travel or robots, definitely. I like them very much. Do you like Linkin Park? <laughs> Can I be honest with you? I don't know any 
Linkin Park music. However, I feel as if I've heard it without realising what it actually was. So maybe I've, I've watched a movie in the past and maybe Linkin Park was playing, but I didn't realise it was them. Hmm. Ernesto. Oh, another good suggestion. Another good movie about robots. AI. Yes, another very good movie, a very interesting movie. And also the movie itself was very hard to make. I, I'm not sure if you know the story behind the making of AI, but originally the story was was written and it was going to be filmed, but then it all went wrong. And so the film took a lot longer to make than it should have. But yes, a very thought-provoking, a very interesting movie. AI. Hmm. I do love the whole idea of the story going over many, many years. In fact, I think it was a thousand years. So I love that idea. So yes, it's one of those movies that you think about for many hours afterwards. So sometimes you watch a movie and then the movie itself stays in your mind for a very long time. You can't stop thinking about it. Do you like science fiction movies about the universe? Oh, I love science programs. I love documentaries about science, the, the universe, all of that stuff. Please give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Definitely. Brian, we, we have a, a, a scientist in this country called Brian Cox, and he is very famous for making documentaries with the BBC, talking about the universe and all of the things connected with it. Yes, I do like science programmes. Very interested. Do you like Doctor Who? I used to watch Doctor Who when I was a child in the 1970s, many, many years ago. I used to watch Doctor Who. Not anymore, though. I don't watch it anymore. Not for many years. So I think the last time I watched Doctor Who was whew, a long time ago. So I used to watch Doctor Who during the 1970s and also the 1980s. But I haven't watched it for a very long time. Have you watched anime? Maybe you don't even know what it is. Ooh. Of course I know anime. A very beautiful, a very beautiful art form. And some of the animation is very beautiful. It is almost like watching a moving painting. So when we talk about anime, quite often it is a form of animation, quite often done in Japan. A lot of Japanese anime. Have you watched Peaky Blinders? <laughs> I've never watched Peaky Blinders, I'll be honest with you. Never seen it. I think maybe it's a bit violent and they do tend to swear a lot in Peaky Blinders, but I've never watched a whole episode. It doesn't seem like the sort of TV show that I would watch, to be honest. Do you know Stephen Hawking? Well, I've, I know his work. The theory of everything, talking all about the universe and what's beyond the universe. Is there anything beyond the universe? Wow. Big, big questions. Who knows? What do you think about Stephen Hawking's theories about the universe origins? Well, I suppose many scientists... One of the things I love about science is you find that many scientists will have different theories, but sometimes their theories will have something in common. So if you are talking about the formation of the universe, you might find over the years that there have been many theories. However, they all seem to point 
to the same area or they point to the same conclusion. So I suppose one of the big theories that most people talk about is the Big Bang Theory. So that is the one that most people refer to now. However, many scientists have their own opinion or their own theory on the, con the construct of the universe. So how it actually exists as a thing. Some people believe that this is just one universe amongst lots of other universes that are all sitting side by side. <laughs> Whilst other people believe that this is just one universe and that's it. So it's quite, it's quite interesting. I do find those things very interesting and very fascinating. If there's one thing that keeps me awake at night, it is my brain thinking about all of these things. Isn't the universe amazing? Do you ever go out at night and look up at all of the stars in the sky and you think to yourself, all of those dots in the sky, they are all suns, just like our sun. So you've got thousands and thousands and thousands of little dots of light in the sky and all of them are suns out there. And maybe those suns are giving life to other planets. But they are millions and millions and millions of light years away. But we can see them at night. Little dots, little spots in the sky. So I can spend a long time at night sitting in my garden watching the night sky. Last night we had a lovely clear night. A beautiful clear night. And you could see all of the stars. And also you could see the Milky Way. The Milky Way was going across the sky as well. So it was amazing. So I, I often get lost in my thoughts. I often get lost when I'm looking up at the stars at night. I find it amazing. I think it's the most amazing feeling in the world. There are more stars in the sky than grains of sand on the whole of the earth. That is true, yes. When you look up at night, it's incredible. All of those tiny specks of light, they are all suns. Wow, incredible. They are stars that are so far away. It would take us thousands and thousands of years to get there. Incredible. Did you see iRobot with Will Smith? I did see it. However, uh, uh, I'm not a big fan of Will Smith. There, I've said it. I'm not a big fan of Will Smith. I've said it. Yeah. Mm. Hi, Mr. Duncan. Hello, Cabli. Nice to see you here today. We are doing a very unusual live stream today because I'm sitting in my front room, I'm sitting at home, <laughs> I'm also kicking my camera. <laughs> I keep kicking my camera, I'm sorry. So this is a, a little different today, a different live stream, because I'm sitting at home and I'm not doing my usual thing. However, tomorrow we will be back to normal in the studio with our normal professional high quality. Maybe. And also, Mr. Steve will be joining us tomorrow. Yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> so we will be in the studio tomorrow with Mr. Steve as well. He will be joining us, giving us his thoughts <laughs> on the current situation. What camera are you using at the moment? Well, at the moment, I'm just using my mobile phone. So I'm sitting in my house and I'm just using my my mobile phone at the moment. But tomorrow we will be in the studio using all of my professional equipment tomorrow. Ooh, exciting. 
You look so relaxed, Mr. Duncan. I feel relaxed. It is very unusual. You don't normally see me sitting down. <laughs> so normally in all of my videos, I'm normally standing up or walking around. But today I'm sitting down. I'm feeling very relaxed, to be honest. Very relaxed. What brand is your phone? I have an iPhone. So I'm using an iPhone to send you this live stream. Can you say something about... Well, all I can say about it is it's a very serious situation and it is one that will be going on for a long time. So that is the reason why I am trying to stay relaxed. I'm trying to stay calm. I don't want to be too upset by what is happening. And I would suggest that you do the same thing. So try not to get too upset. Try not to get too worried or anxious. And during this time, I will try to be with you as often as I can. So I will try to be with you every day. If I can't be with you every day, I will tell you <laughs> that I can't. But today I thought I would come and do another live stream, even though today is Saturday and normally I don't do a live stream on Saturday. So I'm not always here on Saturday. However, at the moment, I will be here with you on Saturday. So I'm going to be with you every day until all of this goes away. Is that all right? Is that a good idea? I hope so. And remember, as I've said already, you are not alone. You don't have to feel alone during these times. I will try to join you as often as I can during these strange times. So I hope with my live video lessons, I will be able to keep you company and also keep you happy as well. So remember, you are not alone. You are not alone. <sighs> oh, during this time, I like that you make live streams every day. Yes, it isn't very often that I come on every day. Do you remember last year, last October, to celebrate my 13th anniversary last year? I actually did a live stream every day for 31 days. Can you believe that? I actually decided to do a live stream for 31 days. You are not alone. No, I am not alone. And you are not alone. We can actually be alone together. So we can share this strange time. We can pass some of this time together. Yes, Mr. Duncan, we are not alone because there are other species watching you from space. Thank you, Anthony. And just in case there are any extraterrestrials watching out there, can I say a big... <laughs> to you. What a beautiful view outside. Well, I wish it was, but unfortunately outside at the moment, it is very grey. The sky is very grey. There you can see the view. And you might notice that the sky today, unfortunately, is looking rather grey. And that's the reason why I'm inside, because the sky is looking very moody. It's also very cold outside as well, as I found out this morning when I went out to do some shopping. <laughs> we had to stand in the street for a very long time. <laughs> we, had to, we had to stand in the street for a very long time, waiting to go into the shop, because they wouldn't allow more than two people to go into the actual shop, unfortunately. So we had to stand in the street for a very long time. And I was freezing cold. I was so cold. 
Hello to Hello to Magdalena. Hello to Bavaria. Nice to see you as well. Hello also to Carlos, who asks, have you ever seen a UFO, Mr. Duncan? Have you ever seen an unidentified flying object? Well, the thing about UFOs is that sometimes they are not visitors from other planets. They're not. So sometimes if you see a light in the sky, it might just be an aeroplane or a helicopter or a weather balloon. So when we say UFO, it doesn't mean that the thing has come from outer space. It just means that the thing cannot be identified. You can't identify the object. So it doesn't have to be an object from outer space. It might just be something that can't be identified. Mr. Duncan, keep up your good job. Soon all the bad will be over and all the people will shine and rise again. Thank you, Nancy. That's very kind of you to say. I do like your positive messages because we are living through strange times and some people are being a little bit too negative about what is happening. So sometimes it is easy to be very negative. However, I always think when times are hard, the best thing to do is try to look on the bright side and try to be positive about what is happening around you. Tomek says, I am heating my oven at the moment and then I will put a pizza in. Oh, feels so hungry all of a sudden. All of this talk of food. And the problem is I don't have any Jaffa cakes left. I've eaten all of my Jaffa cakes. Can you believe it? <laughs> I've got no Jaffa cakes left. It's not fair. When you went to Turkey, did you go to a hot... Did you go in a hot air balloon? No, I didn't because I'm afraid. <laughs> I will never go in a hot air balloon ever. Never, never. Never, never. Ever, ever, never. So I will never go up in a hot air balloon because if something goes wrong, then you basically fall like a stone to the ground. So, no, I, I didn't go up in a hot air balloon and I don't think I ever will, to be honest. Hello to Robbie, who is watching in India. Hello to India once again. Hello also to Anthony. Hello, Anthony, watching in, oh, watching in Belgium. Can I just reassure you that I'm not in the police station? <laughs> it would appear that on my YouTube channel, for some reason, I don't know why, apparently it says that I am in Much Wenlock police station. <laughs> Can I just say I'm not? I haven't been arrested. I'm not in the police station, but I, I think that might be YouTube's fault. So I think YouTube has has put the wrong location. I am in Much Wenlock. I am definitely in Much Wenlock. However, I am not. I am not in the police station. Oh, hello, Brighton. Hi, Brighton. Hello to you. Hello, Donna in Brighton. I know Brighton very well. I used to spend a lot of time down in Brighton during the 90s. 90s yes <laughs> that's all i'm saying i'm not saying anything else but it is a shame what happened to the pier if you live in brighton you know exactly what i'm talking about hello because of the negative ideas many people have committed suicide lately yes i think so i think a lot of people are feeling the stress and the strain of what is happening however I think the best advice is to keep calm. Things will clear. Things will get better. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Hello, Duncan. What do you think about... Will it go away or will it stay? Well, no one knows. This is the problem at the moment. We are in a situation that hasn't happened before. We've never had this happen. I don't remember this happening. 
In all of my very, very long life, we've never had this happen. So it is the first time for me and quite possibly for you as well. So not since the Second World War have, have people had to behave in this strange way. Not since the Second World War. So this is a very unusual situation, but no one really knows what's going to happen next. It might disappear after three months. It might still be here after six months or even a year. Who knows? No one knows. However, the advice that, that's being given at the moment is good advice. So if people stay apart, if people keep their distance, then it will prevent anything from spreading. So I think that is the best advice. Stay at home, put your feet up, Netflix and chill. What more can you say? Oh, and maybe also you can have some Jaffa cakes as well. <laughs> it's almost as if this live stream is being sponsored by Jaffa Cakes. Can I just say it isn't, but I wish it was. <laughs> so, Mr. Duncan, have you done a good deal with the company of Jaffa Cakes? Oh, thank you, Carlos. No, I haven't. I wish I had. <laughs> I really do. Hi, everybody. Belarusia. I was wondering where you were. Hello, Belarusia. Thank you for joining me. I will explain what's happening. I'm at home. I'm OK. I'm not unwell. But unfortunately, the weather is not very good today. So there it is. There is the weather. You can see the view out of the window at the moment. And the weather is not very good. You can see there are dark clouds hanging over my house and also hanging over my head as well so now you know how long can we live without working asks omar that is a very good question and once again these are things that have that have not happened before this is all new so everyone is taking each day as it comes that's all we can do so i don't know what's going to happen next even the experts don't really know so all we can do is stay at home stay calm stay relaxed make sure we have some food something to drink and that's it that's all we can do really when you think about it so we will try our best to stay positive, keep enjoying ourselves, stay active. And this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this. So I don't mind giving a little bit of my time to you. And of course, all of this is free. And everything I do is free. So you can join me, you can chat, you can talk about the things that you're worried about and I will talk about the things that I'm worried about because there are things that worry me because my mother is now being cared for in isolation so I can't even go to see my mother because now she is being cared for and I can't see her so I feel very frustrated by that situation because I can't see my mum but I have to make sure that I keep positive, stay healthy, and <laughs> maybe sometimes I might eat some Jaffa cakes. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm not being sponsored by Jaffa cakes. <laughs> Although, if Jaffa cakes are watching at the moment, could you please send some jaffa cakes to my house thank you very much hello mr rogers neighborhood <laughs> really thank you to idiobust hello idiobust thanks for watching today something unusual i'm just sitting in my comfortable chair this is where i normally sit when i'm relaxing i normally turn around and i watch the birds in the garden However, today I am talking to you live. You can talk on the phone with your mother 
Well, yes, I can, but it's not really the same thing, is it? It's not really the same. It's not the same as being able to see someone for real. It's not the same as being able to say what what is worrying you. It is, it is not the same as seeing them for real. They still seem very far away. So that's just my opinion anyway. <sighs> Hello also to Hasna. Hello, Mr. Duncan. Nice to see you here today. I will be going soon. <laughs> oh, I see. I've just realised. Hello, Mr. Rogers neighbourhood. You are, of course, referring to the famous TV show that was on American television many years ago. Mr. Rogers house or Mr. Rogers neighbourhood <laughs> or the Mr. Rogers show. He was a brilliant guy, by the way, an absolute amazing guy. Can you say hello to me, Mr. Duncan? And that is from New Ando. Hello, New Ando. I have a feeling that you are watching in Vietnam. Am I right? Am I right? Are you in Vietnam? Please let me know if you are. How old is your mother? My mother will be, oh, she'll be 79, 79 next month. And then next year she will be 80. So my mother is getting older. Just like all of us. <laughs> Hello, love from India again. Thank you very much. I think some people are going away. From my live stream and maybe they are trying to find something else to watch and then they've realized that there's nothing else to watch and then you've come back to watch me which is very nice isn't that lovely i know during these strange times people are finding it very hard to find things to do i think so <laughs> i have eaten all of the Jaffa cakes they've gone they have gone look I will show you the box there there are no Jaffa cakes left this is all there is left of the Jaffa cake just this little piece of Jaffa cake that is all it is left so there there is none for Mr Steve nothing for Mr Steve do you have children do I have children? No, I don't. I don't have children. Thank you very much for your company today. I will be going soon. I have been here for nearly two hours. I can't believe it. I've been sitting here in my comfortable chair for nearly two hours talking to you. I can't believe that. Incredible. I will be back with you tomorrow. 2 p.m. UK time. I am back tomorrow with you. 2 p.m. UK time. <laughs> I don't know what is happening to my shirt. This is not the most comfortable position to sit in for two hours. I must be honest with you. It isn't very comfortable. Can I just remind you? Thank you, Maria, for reminding me. By the way, the clocks will change tonight. So here in the UK, the clocks will go forward by one hour. So tomorrow, for some people, I might be on earlier. However, I will be on tomorrow at my normal time, 2 p.m. UK time tomorrow. But the clocks do go forward tonight because it is the start of British summertime tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. UK time and we will be back in the studio. Everything will look professional and lovely and nice. Oh, and also there will be Mr. Steve as well. Sorry about that. I love that shirt. It is purple. Well, I do like the purple colour. I, I like the purple colour very much. However, this shirt is very old. I've had this for many years. It is starting to look very worn and old. 
you have such a good sense of humor mr duncan thank you very much thank you jiang jiang dao you are welcome see you tomorrow yes i will be here with you from 2 p.m uk time tomorrow however i might appear to be earlier but i will be with you at 2 p.m uk time do british people understand american english words yes we do very easily so we don't need to look at subtitles or captions we can understand the american accent we don't have any problems understanding and of course american people don't have any problem understanding the british english accent so yes there is no problem there thank you very much for your company i have been here for exactly two hours <laughs> i can't believe i've been sitting here in my chair for two hours talking to you i will be back with you tomorrow i hope i have kept you company i hope you have enjoyed this unusual live stream and i will be back with you tomorrow live from my little studio in much wenlock england thank you lolly thank you maria thank you to everyone who has joined me today on the live chat it's been lovely spending time with you even though all i've been doing is sitting in my chair talking to you i hope you've enjoyed everything and i, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day whatever you are doing stay safe stay happy stay positive and remember please remember you are not alone you are not alone thank you very much for your company see you tomorrow take care and have a great time this is mr duncan in the birthplace of english saying thanks for watching me today oh there's mr steve can you see steve there's steve <laughs> mr steve just went by did you see him there he is <laughs> i was wondering when mr steve would appear mr steve i can't believe it <laughs> thanks steve for joining in and you will see more of mr steve tomorrow so i'm going now definitely thanks a lot for your company thank you for joining me thank you very much for stopping by in my neighborhood <laughs> and of course until tomorrow 2 p.m uk time you know what's coming next yes you do Ta-ta for now.